Hello everyone, you are welcome back to Shabest Online Tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to convert a problem from a primer to a dual or a duality form. So the given problem on the board, we are given this primer, minimization z is equal to 40x1 plus 30x2 then subject to 5x1 plus 3x2 greater than or equal to 8 then 3x1 plus 2x2 greater than or equal to 7 then 2x1 negative x2 less than or equal to 5 x1 x2 is greater than or equal to 0 this is a primer we are going to convert into a duality form now to convert this problem from primal to dual, the first thing we're going to do is to recall two conditions. The first condition is if the problem given is maximization form, it's going to be what less than or equal to. And if it is minimization, it's going to be what greater than or equal to. So this is the two conditions we are going to recall. So if you look at this given primal, it's a minimization form. So we expect all the constants to be what greater than or equal to. So if you look at the first equation, is greater than, is balanced. The second equation is greater than. Then the third equation is less than, which is unbalanced. The first thing we are going to do is to write this in a correct format, then before we find the dual. So this is going to be what our new primal is going to be what minimization, then z, which is objective function, is equal to 40x1 plus 30x2. Then subject to, subject to, the first equation is in the correct format. So I'm not going to touch it. It's going to be what? 5x1 plus 3x2 is greater than or equal to 8. Then the second equation is in greater than. So it's also in a good format. So we're going to rewrite 3x1 plus 2x2 is greater than or equal to 7. Well, if you look at the third equation, is less than. To convert it to this form, to greater than, we are going to multiply it by what? Negative 1. So we multiply equation 3 by negative 1. When we, multiply, when, when we do that, then we can change this inequality from less than to greater than. Negative 1 multiplied by 2x1 is going to give us negative 2x1. The negative 1 multiplied by negative x2 is going to be what? Positive x2. Then which is going to be what greater than or equal to this inequality we change it to greater than or equal to the negative one multiplied by five is going to give us negative five then x1 x2 is greater than or equal to zero now everything here all the inequality here is greater than greater than greater than we satisfy this minimization condition and the given primer is in minimization form now we can go ahead and find the duality so the dual is going to be what mass remember if the prima given is in minimization form the dual is going to be max and if the prima given is maximization the dual is going to be what minimization here is minimization so our dual is going to be what maximization so this is going to be what the objective function here we have the prima is represented by z variable so we can use any variable to differentiate them so let's use variable y which is going to be equal to then one thing you are going to consider to get our objective function in a duality we are going to consider the right hand side of this equation we have for three right three three number here eight seven and negative five so this is going to be our objective function so but also recall that we are going to create another new variable to differentiate this so let's use w so this is going to be what 8w1 then plus we have 7 here 7w2 then minus 5 minus 5w3 five so we have successfully find our what objective function which is going to be what subject to now the next thing we are going to consider is the coefficient and when we are going to take the coefficient is going to be the vertical of this primal is going to be the role of the dual so we'll start from the first one but remember the new variable we create w1 w2 w3 so we start from the first column 5x1 3x1 then negative 2x1 so this is going to be what 5 subject to 5w1 3 plus 3w2 then the next one is negative 2 negative 2 w3 and duality maximization is going to be less than this is going to be less than remember here is greater than but the duality is going to be one less than or equal to 
what is going to be our right hand side here since we use the right hand side here to be the objective function so our new right hand side is going to be the objective function of the primer which is what 40 and 30 so we'll pick the first one which is going to be what? less than or equal to 40. now to get the second line we're going to use the column here is going to be the rule here so the first one is three two and one so we have theory w1 plus 2w2 then plus 1w3 which is the same as wd3 which is going to be less than or equal to 30x2 which is going to be what 30. so now how many variable we use theory variable w1 w2 then w3 is going to be what greater than or equal to zero so here is the duality of this problem. Look at how we do it step by step. We first check whether the problem is in the correct format. We notice that one of the equation violate the condition. Then we change the inequality by multiply all the equation through by what negative one. Then we change, that make us to change this inequality to greater than, then we find the duality. The right hand side is going to be our objective function. Then we create three variables because the numbers of the equation are three. Then our column here is going to be the row. Then the column, the second column is going to be the second row. Then our new right hand side is going to be objective function of the given primer. Then we form three variables. Everything is going to be greater than zero. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.